What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing another part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm bringing you another part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part. I'm really enjoying the game so far. Now we're just going to keep going through the stories or whatnot, what happens. Me trying to learn how to play this game because this game is not forgiving. So if you haven't played this game before, go check out the first part. If you haven't seen the first video, go check out the first part. Hopefully guys, that, that's enjoyable. And we'll keep going from there. And you'll see me struggle with sword fighting and horse riding and hand-to-hand -hand combat and... What not. And of course, I'm live streaming the game. I'm live streaming as much as I can of this game. So check out for when I go live over on Twitter, so you guys can see me play the game live. And instead of it being a 20-minute, 30-minute video, it's a two-hour, three-hour long adventure that you can talk to me and all. You know how it's streaming works. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So let's go. Good day to you. I have to go scout. I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh, I have to bury my parents. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Alright, let's end the dialogue and try to find a way. Hello, guard. Good day to you. I need to get. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. <laughs> but it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. It's a robber's game. Not any longer. I have vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scalitz people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to leave immediately, so let me out quickly. A Goddamn story. Better clear off before I lose my temper. Hey. Ben. Guys are in my way. I have to go through. Oh, hello. God save. Can I help you with anything? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Uh, I have to bury my parents. My parents are lying in the mud of skeletons at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. That makes sense. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. What? Uh, what? Well, well I'll let, let me get out then. Hey. Damn. Can you hear me? Uh. Well then. Oh, you're still here. Hi. Uh Don't move a finger. Okay, okay, surrender. Surrender! You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. All right, you win. I surrender. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I've had enough of your shit. When I said clear off, I meant right now. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Damn it. I've been given a secret task. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. The Lord of Ratai sent me on a secret mission. And to do it, I have to bend the law a little now and again. Understand? My heart bleeds for you. 
I can't pay that. You still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to sit it out in jail. God damn it. Jail it is then. I'm not gonna flee. Get moving. I hope you rot there. Hey, come on, that's a bit rough. I didn't even do anything. I was just trespassing. 22 hours. God, that's a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment. Mm, not much, actually. Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go? Ah, you can, I'm sorry to say. Now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. Oh, what the fuck happened? Oh, okay, so I'm out now. That's unfortunate, okay. I think I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll just reload, cause... I'll just reload, cause I, I wanna try to at least fucking do it. Are you serious? Holy shit. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? My god, this is complicated. And I lost my lockpick. Close the door. Alright, let's try this again. I really don't... That's weird. Where it didn't seem to have a fucking sweet spot on that one. My god. Holy shit, that's complicated. Alright. Got it done. Jesus Christ, that was complicated. Huzzah, can I speak to you? I guess I gotta get out off the horse. My respects to you. I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our <laughs> colors. Uh... I'm Sir Robar's messenger. He's sending me to Ujits to find out if Sigismund's army has been giving them trouble. I might believe you if I knew who you were. Who the hell are you? Janek of Malish. I'm Yannick, Yannick. of Malishoff. I haven't been here long, but if you had your eyes open, you would have noticed me. Now open the fucking gate, or I'll have to go and get Sir Robar, and you wouldn't want that, would you? Oh, all right. All <laughs> whoa, right. whoa, calm down. Open the fucking gate, lad. Yay, we did it! You'll have to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am pretty, pretty... <laughs> it's the game itself, it's not the... It's not... Jesus Christ, eh?
time to kill some people. Not the horses. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what it is. To get me, like, try to practice killing some of them. Oh, no, they burned them. Gosh darn it. My parents are not that far from here, right there. Mummy, daddy. I. Goddamn. I look, he doesn't have injuries in his face anymore. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Hmm. Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. But it saved your life. I'll never run away again. the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. All right, all right, all right. Get away, you must. What's going on? Fishak? What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that mutt the butcher's? Uh, no. Isn't that body the <laughs> butcher? Makes sense. Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? He's defending him, you num num numbskull. <laughs> Why am I wearing the helmet now? <laughs> the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing? Come to bury my parents. Came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave. I need the spade. Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? When I fled, the human was. You meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care Jesus of her. Jesus Christ. Uh. You lend me that spade. I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it? I see you have a fine sword. <laughs> Are you insane? I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. <sighs> see how that works. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? You really are a piece of shit. You know, you're an unbelievable piece of shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. That's right. 
Turn tail and run, you bastard. <laughs> He's stuck. Jackass. I'm gonna have a couple hours of digging doing there. I know, dog. I know. Sad days for everybody. Some help. Oh, damn it. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? It's Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. You should be alone. Tell him, Rudd. I cut the bastard down. Okay, so I can't win this, I guess. Could have just cost you a few teeth. So I guess I have to run. He's got a pretty big bat there. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not even close. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. Not my sword. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. God damn it. Don't do it. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, goat fuckers! Goat fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> the game 
battles are over. All right. Get my sword. Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Probably. Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Hmm. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Thank God. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. You slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength. Yes, I do indeed. A few delirious days later. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. Oh, okay. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Thank God. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. Okay. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Mm -hmm. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, <laughs> I've no idea. No idea whatsoever. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. <laughs> It just keeps going and going. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and care oh, of you. course. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Oh. Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist... But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. 
I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. God damn it. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Awesome. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two oh. whole weeks while you were in New York. I'm down. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Uh, this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? Well, no honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I guess I'm going to have to do it. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. Well, that fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? That was a pretty speech, but you're still talking about a filthy deed. I won't do it. I value my honour higher than coin. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back, and quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. But How much do I owe you? Good luck to you. Alright guys, that's going to be it for another part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a lot of stuff going on. Sorry if I'm not, it's a very emotional source, so I'm not like super like going like super, yo dude, this is super insane. It's just not that kind of story so far. It's it's a very fun story. I'm enjoying it a lot. Like I mentioned in the last video, it has a lot of a, it feels a lot like a like I'm watching a movie, a big, big drawn out movie. So it, it's super interesting. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate it. Follow me everywhere, me time, gamer, Twitter, tw Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com for slash me time gamer, where I post new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Every time I do that part, I want I get the hiccups for some reason. So thanks so much guys for watching. Now it's the next video. Keep on keeping on.